I'm, I'm placing the the formulas and the herbs that work on the on the general regulation of the body at the beginning because that's the most important ones and that's the one we use a lot in the clinic and that's have broad indications as well and that we may use in in lots of different situations um so when I'm, I'm talking about broad regulation it would be for example the tonic herbs and the tonic formulas because this one again i mean i would just take for example Bujong Yi Tang. you have so many different ways of using it and so many different indications including i don't know uh, uh, blood disease cancer cardiovascular disease you could use it for insomnia you could use it for really anything so these formulas we'll put it at the very beginning because they're very very important and the more we go toward the end the the less um so the more specific the formulas we'll get um so i at the very end, we'll get things such as uh, toxicity eliminating formulas, which is really working on acute inflammation, and they they're not using anything anything else. If there's no acute inflammation, you're not going to use it. So, but he just realized that well, purging is really good. Purging really gives some good results in the clinic, and therefore we should we should use it in many situations. And I think he's right. I think. There's probably a lot of um, 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 room to actually use the purging methods in the clinic and that is not used enough. So we, we had this discussion with Lauren yesterday, actually. I was going to say yesterday yeah. when you're talking about Da Huang and that most people use it for constipation, whereas it actually should be used broadly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and there's a lot more indications. Also, this become more analysis, right? That people really start to to break down things down very small and um to analyze each each herb what they do in each formula and write a book about that, right? So you have the Yi Fang Kao and Yi Fang Ji uh, Jie, which really explain step by step each formula, how they are um, uh, created. And again, there's a good and bad thing about it. The good thing is that it makes it very it's it, it makes our task easier. But I think when you have this approach of this herb is for this, this herb is for that, that herb is for that, sometimes you may lose the the whole big direction of the formula when you break things down too much. So again, there's a good or bad thing about breaking things down very small. There's even I'm, You're probably not familiar with this because this is all happening in universities in China, but there's even people now who, who are working on on breaking the patents down into smaller smaller units. So, they, for example, instead of saying um, liver fire, they will break the pattern into liver and fire, and then associate signs and symptoms with liver and fire, and then say if we if we put signs and symptoms from liver and signs and symptoms from fire, it becomes liver fire. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> that's totally not how it works. It's, 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 you can't break things like this. It's totally artificial what you guys are doing. Okay, so formulas, we have, I think, three main different ways of, um, of thinking about the formula, conceptualizing, designing a formula, and combining herbs together. Um, I think it's based on three different things. One thing is our understanding of how the body works. So this is the physiology, right? So for example, we know the five movements um, producing cycle. So we know that the earth is going to produce the metal, right? And this is something about how the body works normally. Um, um, or we know, for example, that she can produce blood, right? So this is the basic theory. Um, about how the body works. And, and this is something that will guide the way you're going to combine herbs together, right? So that's one type of thinking. Another type of thinking is about the pathology. So how disease work and disease have their own way of working. So for example, we know that um, the when there is um, constraints, so like cold constraints, you get cold, wind cold attack, and you have coldness in the exterior, there may be a buildup of fire inside the body, a buildup of heat um, that is not able to, to be pushed out and therefore building up and creating constraints. 
We know that, we know that the disease develops this way. And therefore, we can, in our formula, prevent from this to happening, or we can, um, you know, uh, make our combination in which we're going to affect both aspects of the pathological mechanism. We also know, for example, that the liver is going to attack the spleen at some point, just sooner or later. So it's it makes a lot of sense for us to prevent that and start to build up a little bit the spleen when we know that the liver is impacted. Um, so this is more about the way the, the disease evolves and thinking about it and thinking about what we can do to um, to deal with that. The third thinking, um, I would call it the pharmacology-based um, 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 combination of pharmacology-based design, is, is more about how herbs work together to achieve something else. So, for example, if I combine um, a herb that is pungent, warm, and dispersing with um, a bitter cold herb that is draining, I can achieve. I can. I can actually deal with heat constraints now because they they're going to um, you know work in synergy to be able to not only liberate the heat but also bring it down at the same time and therefore being useful to deal with this constraint of heat. Um, so I kind of need them to work together to achieve something else. Thank you for watching this clip of our masterclass. We are running this in-depth and practical masterclass of herbology and formulas. So if you're interested in joining us or watching the full recording, um, please check the program in the description of this video or send me an email at yohanberling at gmail.com.